care of all of this. Are you kidding? This is great. Having a good time for a good cause. Man, he said it. I can't wait to hit those mountain trails. How did six high school students arrange an ATV charity event for a children's hospital? Also, did they buy those ATVs or just rent them? Also, how did they learn to fix up ATVs? We got work to do. Right, let's take a look at our map. Take a look at our map? Hold on. So the trails aren't marked. Could that be dangerous if someone happened to get lost? So they can only win if they follow the clues on their map. Again, what would happen if they missed a direction? Would that mean they're not allowed to finish the race? But where is Lord where Zane? Where he belongs, his chamber of command. Oh, I got such a headache. When did you not have a headache? I am Lord Zed. Identify yourself. Excellency, surely you remember me. Goldar, your faithful servant. Ah, yes, Goldar, the groveling one. I surrender myself to serve and obey you only. One, I love how Lord Zed has no idea who Goldar was until he identified himself and then realized who he was. I don't know if I could forget a guy that looks like Goldar. Also, why does Goldar keep saying Lord Zed is back? He used to live on the moon base? Then how come we never heard of him? Your spineless, sniveling attitude leads me to believe you will serve me well. Yes. For that, I shall restore to you what was once taken away. Lord said I thank you. Wait, you just found out who Goldar was, and just so happened to remember he lost his wings a long time ago? For all we know, he could be a guy named Bob. And is only pretending to be Goldar. Oh, what a pleasant surprise! How can I be of service to you, traitor? You were defeated by children! You dare call yourself an empress of evil? You're not fit to destroy a cockroach! I have always said that, my lord! You gold bellied rat! <laughs> Why aren't they showing Rita's real face? What, you couldn't afford to buy Machiko Soga an airplane ticket to the United States? Cheapskates. I'll round up the other. Don't you have to touch the top of the communicator before speaking into it? Might I suggest we send out a group of buddies to attack the rangers? <laughs> Your putties are as useless to me as you are. I have my own army of putties, the likes of which you have never seen. <laughs> oh no, how menacing. They're just like Rita's putties with a giant Z on their chest. Just a dent, huh? Uh, I think it's oil. You think it's oil? Bro, Helen Keller could have told you that it was oil just by smelling it. And why are you licking oil? He turned Rita into an action figure. Yeah, that looks absolutely nothing like Rita from season one. Now that that is taken care of, it is time to finish off those Power Rangers. Send down my putties! Who cares? We have their bikes. We were told that Lord Zed was better and more competent than Rita, but he just did an attack that was meant for the Rangers except Bulk and Skull are not Rangers. In season one, the rangers didn't have clasps outside of their helmets. Were their suits modified to include them in season two? Also, how come there are two black stripes on their belts? I don't remember seeing that in season one. We were just told that Lord Zed's putties were better than Rita's, and Lord Zed is better and smarter than Rita too. You put the weak spot of your foot soldiers in plain freaking sight. Those were the Power Rangers. No way, I thought they were the VR Troopers. 
You were lucky to find their weak spot so quickly. Apparently the Z on their chest is the source of their power. Zordon is all-knowing and all-powerful, and not even he knew where the weak spots were, so I have to question his all-knowingness. I'm sure Lorzak wasn't counting on us discovering it so soon. I wonder what he's got in store for us next. Got a feeling it ain't Pudgy Pig. Pudgy Pig would have been an upgrade over his putties, and you can believe that. My sensors tell me it was a piranha, now called Piranha's Head. As in man-eating? I'm afraid so. Tommy. You must stay behind temporarily while the others morph. Alpha and I will try to re-energize your powers to make them stronger. It's been, what, 15 episodes already? And the show still hasn't fixed Tommy's powers. I still don't understand how you can use the Ranger's powers to re-energize Zordon, and Zordon can use his powers to temporarily re-energize Tommy. Why can't the Rangers re-energize Tommy? I'm afraid this time you're going to be left out in the car. Man, he froze the swords. We're history. Just a dent, huh? Uh, I think it's oil. 